Hello and thank you for taking the time to watch Lumilane's quick tutorial number one or QT number one on the pace clock. The three things we can do with the pace clock, we can uh, adjust the pace clock, we can set the pace clock, and we can also configure the rollover value of the pace clock. So once you've launched your Swim Pacer app, I'm going to go ahead and show you right now first how to configure the rollover value. So if we go into the options page, we have two options. We can select a rolling over value at 60 minutes, which a majority of pace clocks roll over, and then also 100 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this right now uh, at 60 minutes, but if your pace clock rolls over at 99.59, you would set this for a rollover value of 100 minutes. So we'll go ahead and leave this to 60 minutes, and we'll back out to the actual, back out to the uh, main menu. And so to adjust and set the pace clock, we go out and we actually click on the pace clock value right here. And you can see we've got our pace clock running in the facility. And so in order to set the pace clock, we have two different tabs here at the top of the page. We have set pace clock and adjust pace clock. Right now we're going to leave that on set pace clock. And the, the setting the pace clock works fairly simply. You just basically are going to set the time a little bit ahead of where the facility pace clock is right now. So we'll pick 4045. So we're going to go ahead and type that in on our keypad 40. 45 and then we just basically are going to time 2, 43, 44, 45. We press OK and now we match and see how we did time wise and we see that we're, we press the button, the OK button just a little bit late so now I actually need to fine tune and adjust this just a tiny little bit so I go ahead and click on the pace clock again and now I select adjust pace clock. And we now as we watch this, I have two options here. I can either add a tenth of a second at a time or I can press this button over here and subtract a tenth of a second at a time. So I'm going to go ahead, since we're behind, I'm going to add a tenth of a second. We're going to look at the clock again and we see the clock's still just a little bit behind. So I'm going to keep adding a tenth of a second, press it a third time. We're almost there one more time. And now you can see the two clocks are right in sync with each other. We press OK. And now the Lumilane Swim Pacer apps clock is going to be synced with the pace clock in the facility now, and you're going to be good to go for the rest of practice. And one thing I'd like to take a quick moment to remind you of, that that pace clock will stay in sync now until you shut the app down. Once you relaunch the app, you'll have to resync the pace clock. Well, thank you again for watching Lumilane's quick tutorials, and remember to subscribe to our Lumilane's YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter, and like us on Facebook.